Boys and girls, it's time for us to begin today with our opening song, Praise Him. Everybody stand. Let's sing together. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime. Love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. Okay, boys and girls, today we are going into unit number nine. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to be talking about knowing that God loves us, knowing that God is with us, and God will help us. This lesson talks all about how the people of Israel had to get across a big river. And then we're going to learn about how God gave them a place to live. And then we're going to learn about a lady named Deborah. And she was a judge, and she listened to God and prayed and did what he said. And then there was a queen, and her name was Esther. It's an exciting unit, so get ready. Assume the position. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for always being with me, for showing me what I need to do. Help me to always pray, listen, and obey. Because if I do, we're going to have a victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for you to stand up. We're going to sing our theme song. The title of it is, I'm in the Lord's Army. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm excited today because we're going to learn about two awesome women. One woman's name is Deborah, and she was a judge. And the other one's name was Esther, and she was a queen. Well, I want to start with Deborah's story. Deborah was a judge, and she lived in a time when the people of God were not following God. They weren't praying, and they weren't listening, and they weren't obeying. And all sorts of bad things began to happen. But Deborah was faithful, and she stood underneath an oak tree, and that's where people would come and say, have you heard a word from God? Have you prayed to God? Can you tell me what God says today? Now, you and I both know now we can pray to God, and God talks to us. But during that time, they didn't understand that. So Deborah would sit there, and people would come, and, and she found out that there was going to be a big army coming. The big commander was Sisera, and he, he wanted to come, and he wanted to kill all the people. But Deborah was a woman of God, and she wanted to be bold and brave, and she was in the Lord's army. So she contacted a man named Barak. Now, God had said, I want you to go to Barak, and I want you to tell him that he needs to raise up an army of 10,000 men. 10,000. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand men. And what you're to do is you're to go fight against Barak so that you can protect my land, Israel. So Barak was kind of uh, afraid 
And, and what ended up happening was he said, Deborah, I can't do it by myself. I'm afraid. And she said, well, if we're going to stand up against the Sarah, you're going to have to come and be a part of this. As a matter of fact, you should do it yourself. But he was too afraid. So she went with him. And they went and they took the army. They stood on the hill. And as they watched down, God said, I'm going to fight this battle for you. So all of a sudden, they were in these chariots, these big metal chariots with big wheels. And as they came into the valley, it started to rain. Well, you and I both know what happens when it rains, especially when you're on the down-the-road side in Bacosan. Mud goes everywhere. And what happened was the mud got caught up in these chariots or these carts. And all the people that were in Sisera's army got scared. And so Barak and the army came down, and they all ran away, and they were able to chase them away, and they didn't come back. That day, God won the victory, all with some rain and some good mud. That's the way it happens when you listen to God, and you pray, and you listen and obey. I want to tell you now about a woman named Esther. Esther was a Jew, and she and her uncle Mordecai were two people who lived in what they call a kingdom. And in that kingdom, there was a king, Xerxes, who needed a queen. And what he did was he searched all over to find the perfect queen. And what he did was when he saw Esther, he knew that she was the perfect one. But he didn't know that she was Jewish. But she was beautiful. And he says, that's going to be my queen. So he ends up marrying her, and, and he, she ends up becoming the queen. And then a couple of months later, this, this man named Haman came. Well, Haman didn't like the Jews. As a matter of fact, he didn't like them so much that he figured out a plan and a way to be mean to them. He actually wanted to kill them. And so he tricked the king and doing a plan where they would be able to go kill all the Jews. Now remember, the king didn't know that his favorite queen, Esther, was Jewish. There was also this problem, though. You see, the queen wasn't allowed to go and see the king unless the king asked her to come. So Mordecai, the uncle, said, you know, you may have been chosen for this time. God put you in this place for this time so that you could go talk to the king. So she said, I don't know what to do. He hasn't called me. They said, I know what we'll do. We'll pray, remember, listen, and we'll do what God says. So she began to pray. She didn't eat anything for three whole days. And she prayed to God, and she listened to God. And God said, today is the day. So she went to the outside of the court, and she asked if she could see the presence of the king. And the king thought she was so beautiful, he extended his scepter, which is kind of like a stick, and he invited her to come in. Well, when he invited her to come in, he asked her what she wanted. She said, I would like for you and Haman to come to my chambers that I might be able to fix you dinner. So she invited him to dinner, basically. And he said, oh, this is great. And Haman thought, oh, this is wonderful. Because remember, Haman didn't know that Esther was a Jew. And so he invited, she invited both of them to come. And then the next night when they came, she told the king all about the problem that the Jews were facing, that she had heard that, that someone was going to kill all the Jews. At first, the king didn't get it. But then she said, do you want to kill me too? He was kind of surprised. She said, you see, because I'm a Jew and Mordecai is a Jew and, and Mordecai is the one who saved your life and, and, and why would you want to kill us? He says, I don't want to kill you. I don't understand. And then she told about the plan that Haman had made to basically kill all the Jews. Well, the king was so angry he decided that he would hang Haman and that Haman would be no more. He ends up saving the Jews. Why? Because Esther was brave enough to go talk to the king. 
You see, being in the king's army sometimes is scary. But when we do it, when we, when we go forward with God, when, when we have friends and, and, and we ask them to come along with us or we pray and we listen and we do what God says, we always have the victory. That's why it's so awesome to be in God's army. Because if God is for us, nothing can stand against us. So I want you to remember that this week. Are you ready? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much that if you are for us, no one can stand against us. Help us to remember to pray, to listen, and to obey so we can have the victory each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, stand up. We're going to sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for our benediction. Everybody stand up and let's say it together. I have two little eyes to look at God, two little ears to hear his word, two little lips to speak his praise, two little feet to walk his ways, two little hands to do his will, and one little heart to love him still. God bless you and have a great week.